All right, so where we left off from last time was we basically kind of talked about the angle sum formula. Folks, so again, the sum equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2, right, where n was the number of what? Triangles in the figure, right? And the 180 was what? What did the 180 have to do with anything? Yeah, it's the sum of the angles within the triangle. Raise your hand instead of just spouting out the answer. All right, so let's go to summarize then. So it says, how can you find the angle sum of any polygon with n sides? Without using the four, how can we just, how, how, how can we just say it? How do we do it for the table? Think of how we did it in the table. Look at your notes if you need to refresh your memory. How do we do it in the table? What do we figure out? All right, let me jog your memory. All right, so we subtract 2. From the number of sides, right? And then multiply by 180. And again, that's basically the formula, right? Our little shortcut that we discovered with it after we did all the tables. It says, using the knowledge you learned today, find the measure of the missing angle. So if we need to find this angle down here, right? Uh, in the triangle. So how can we find that missing angle? What could we do? Actually, we probably don't even need the formula for this. Okay, right, because we know all three angles within the triangle give us 180, right? So what's 70 plus 40? Right, 110, right? And if all the angles inside the triangle go 180, we're going to take 180 and subtract 110 from it, which gives us? No, 180 minus 110 is not 180. 70. So our missing angle here is 70 degrees. All right, scrolling down. Ooh, who wrote that on there? Can I get that off? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's get that off. So it says, how can we use the angles, um, the sum of the angles of any polygon to calculate the, uh, um, the measure of one unknown interior angle? Well, again, if we're trying to use it to find a missing angle, right, we take our angle sum formula, and divide it by the number of angles. So we know that our angle sum formula is 180, right, and we're going to divide it by So how does it work in an 18-sided figure? Because that would be a fun figure to draw, right? A figure with 18 sides. But here's how we figure that out. 
I'll tell you what, we're gonna, I'm going to try to do the work here so you can kind of see it. All right, so first of all, the angle sum. If it's 18 sides, we're going to plug 18 in up here, right? So 180, right? Now, order of operations tell us we do what first? Parentheses first. Good, Gavin. So what's 18 minus 2? 16. Now, I know all you guys got calculators out there, so someone help me. What is 180 times 16? It's a big number. Hmm? Yeah, it's a little tough to do in your head. Who's got a calculator? What is it, Maria? So, okay, so now what did we just find there? That's the sum of all the angles, right? We don't need all the angles, right? So we're to find the measure of one angle. This is where we use that now. So now we're going to divide it, right? Because if, if in an 18-sided figure, all the angles should be the same. So that's the angle sum, right? If I wanted to find the measure of one angle, I'm going to take this 2,880 and divide it by the number of sides in the figure, which is 18. You guys are so smart. Which should be? So take 2,880 in your calculator, hit the divide button, and hit 18. 160 degrees. So each angle in that figure is 160 degrees. That's how you can find one angle in the figure as opposed to the entire sum of all the angles. See how that works? All right, so really quick, here's what I want you guys to try to find for me. I want you to take a 20-sided polygon, regular polygon, 20-sided. You can just do the work down here if you want. Okay, like that in here. And I want you to find the sum, the measure of one of its angles on a 20-sided regular polygon. And remember, a regular polygon means that all the sides and angles are the same. So see if you can figure it out for 20. And again, remember, you're using this. Because you're trying to find one angle, not the angle sum. The top part is this is when you find the sum. This is when you find one angle. So see if you can find it for me. Some of you, your pencils aren't moving. It's kind of hard to find the answer when you don't do any writing. If you need a calculator, make sure you have one. All right, so let me unfreeze this here because my uh, board is frozen. There we go. All right. So remember, here's the formula, right? So you're going to plug in a 20 where you see N, right? So 180 times 18 is 3,240. And when you divide it by 20, you get, drum roll, 162 degrees. How many people got 162 degrees? Excellent. That's almost everybody. So again, remember, the N here in the equation gets replaced with the sided figure you're looking for. And now it's just order of operations to figure out what the one angle is. If we were only looking at the angle sum, you would only need this part. Okay? But because you need the whole thing, 
all right? But because you need the whole thing, they want to find it one specific angle. But now we got to divide it by the size of the figure. Because we're going to find one angle instead of the sum of all 20. So understand the difference. Yeah, um, so when we did the 18, it was 118. And 18 plus 2 is 20. So we kind of just added two numbers. Because that's what we did for Oh, from the previous one? OK. That's good thinking. All right, so your homework is going to be that. I'm going to stop the video right here.